For a while, we thought that as Africa we'd been spared the coronavirus. But as it turns out, this virus is not a respecter of persons and we are all susceptible. Currently, 36 African countries have reported confirmed cases of coronavirus. Collectively, according to Africa Center for Disease Control, there are over 800 cases and there have also been reported deaths. Now, as a result, various governments have put in place measures to ensure that they stop the spread of coronavirus. From South Africa to Egypt, Ghana, Rwanda, all countries are on high alert. In Kenya, there have been seven reported cases of coronavirus, and government recently announced measures like travel restrictions, quarantine for people who are coming into the country from areas where the virus has been reported. Then, schools have closed. And there's also been a very specific message, one of hygiene. People are being encouraged to wash their hands regularly, use sanitizers, and wear a mask whenever possible. Various organizations are also taking precaution. Like for instance, this newsroom would ordinarily be packed, full of activity, so much noise. But now we are working in shifts to ensure minimum exposure. And none of us, as news gatherers, is taking their chances. But out there, the story is very different. In Nairobi, it's business as usual, and nobody really seems bothered. Uh, you see, even as much as we're talking about social distancing, people are still crowding in public transport vehicles, people are still patronizing bars, they're going to restaurants, and as much as this issue has become a talking point, there are people who still believe coronavirus does not exist. In fact, it's just propaganda. Because no Kenyan has, uh, has acquired this virus locally. Those Kenyans, not at all, those, Ken those people that have been tested positive came from the countries that have the so-called According to me, let them produce some evidence to say Simon Rule is there. But for somebody that spends most of their time in the newsroom, I remember in December reporting of a mysterious virus that had affected about 20 people in China. And then it was 50 people, and then 100, 500, 1,000, and before long, it was a fully blown outbreak. But even then, we still thought it is their problem. It's not. It does not concern us. Now, seeing the disease spread in Europe, several countries on lockdown, Italy reporting 400 deaths in one night, 24 hours. The global market of a free fall. The United States marshalling up all its resources to try and contain this virus, then suddenly coronavirus is real. Now, we are lucky we live at a time where information is shared real time. People have been posting on social media about their experiences. And appeal last week, or was it last week or the week before, um, some Italian um, made a rant where they were calling on countries to take action, uh, to learn from their mistakes, to prepare. Because unlike Italy and China, us on this side, we have time. We have time that they did not have. So we can do a lot, utilize that to make a difference. Basically, what I'm trying to say in so many words, my fellow Kenyans and Africans, coronavirus is real. Let's take precaution. Our health systems are weak and might not cope should there be an outbreak. Government will not help you, you only have you and your loved ones. So, once again, let's take precaution. Let's wash our hands, let's use sanitizers, let's uh, practice social distancing. Stay at home if you have nothing uh, major or other pressing to do out there. As they say, prevention is always better than cure. So, let's take precaution and let's stay safe. I am Susan Mungeli.